Howdy y'all, my name is Price, and welcome back to some more Rusty Lake, and this time we are playing Rusty Lake Roots. Now, you may notice something real quick, there are bars across the top and bottom of this game right now. Um, I can't get it to play in full screen for some reason, it wants to stay windowed, so we're just going to have those the whole time. Shouldn't be too much of a bother, uh, I wouldn't think, but uh, just letting y'all know that up front. Now, we already played through the first game in the Rusty Lake series. Uh, which was Rusty Lake Hotel. Obviously, there is, you know, the Rusty Lake series is a follow-up to the Cube Escape series, which I have not played. Um, so, you know, depending on how we feel about um, this once we finish, uh, we've got Rusty Lake Roots, and then we've got Rusty Lake Paradise after this. Maybe I'll go back and play some of the earlier Cube Escape games. I also know there's a new one, Cube Escape Paradox? Continuum? Something like that? I don't know. Was a, there was a new one. Uh, that just came out not too long ago. So uh, maybe I'll um, check that one out as well. We'll see, you know, uh, but for right now, I want to, you know, continue where, uh, from where we left off. We can see the Rusty Lake Hotel out in the middle of the lake right there. Um, but let's go ahead and move forward with Rusty Lake Roots and see where this one goes. Rusty Lake, spring, 1860. James Vandeboom arrived at Rusty Lake. His uncle had just passed that away under mysterious circumstances. James was his uncle's only heir. He had no idea of the events that would change his life. Huh. All right, so just to click here. Okay. Drag to move left or right. Oh, okay. So I can scroll and stuff. Can I grab this? Okay. Hello, pup. What? It said something real fast when I clicked. Where's he going? I wanted to read what it said up there. What's this do? Okay. So they're both getting out of there. Okay. Click on a person to interact. What's this? Uh, click on the text to read. Dear James, I regret to inform you that your uncle has passed away. He has left you his house and a very special seed. Yes, yeah, seed? Okay. Plant it and start your own family. 572. Okay, these are things I'm, I'm already paying attention. We've played a previous game. I'm going to get myself some more scratch paper. Hold on a second. Because we've played these games before. We know what this is like. These are important little bits of information that uh, could easily be relevant in the future. I've got a huge sketch pad over here. I'm going to put it over to my left. I'm throwing stuff on the floor, y'all. This is the real deal. So, what did we see on the letter? First things first, we have, we're going to call that the orange emblem uh, in the upper right-hand corner. So that might be relevant, kind of like the keys were in the last um, episode. So I'm going to just write kind of like James, orange emblem, and then the number 572. Okay, let's move forward. Gave us a very special seed. I have a feeling I'm going to need to plant that seed. What's in here? Aha! That's going to be where the number goes, right? And uh, one to who? Got it. Okay, and there's a different emblem. Or is it? There's our seed, okay. Just kind of making sure to look around. And we have a bone for the pup, okay. Oh, I already have a feeling I know what's <laughs> coming here. Now, um, use items from inventory. I'm assuming I got to drag this down. Come on. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to record this all in one go, or at least as much of it as I can, depending on how long it is. So I'll just cut the episodes where I see fit. So we won't have intros and outros like I often do. <clears throat> this makes sense to me. We're going to get some water in our watering cans. Here's what I'm thinking it's going to happen. I think we're going to plant the seed. Uh, maybe we'll have the dog either dig a hole um, or maybe poop on it. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but let's find out. I'm just going to scroll a little bit more just to see. Is there anything else that James has? Aha. Yeah, he wants. Okay. That showed me that what he wants, I guess. Now, I'm wondering, are we from the perspective of James or are we going to be seeing a number of different characters stories and helping them with these? Let's go ahead and give the bone to the dog. Yeah, okay. He's digging for us. Yep. And I click on nothing? Okay, so then how about we put the seed here? And then we water that seed? Oh! Oh! Why, hello! Puppy? Anything more with puppy? Oh, What a cute little puppy! Adorable. Alright, how you doing there, James? 
James, click on the tree to make it grow. Oh, it's like a, it's a, a branching story tree that has to do with the game. We have one of 33 shoots in these roots. It is called Rusty Lake Roots, so that makes sense. Interesting. Spring, 1860, the house, 1860, really? Civil War still raging? Did it just end? I always mess it up. 1865 or 1856, so I always, I always mess that up. Some objects you can drag. He's pointing up at the uh, nest up there. Okay, so he's trying to reach for that. Good to know. <clears throat> Scroll around a little bit more. What's on here? The Vanderboom Estate. Clearly there's something here. It's on the inside of the... Whoa! I clicked on it a couple of times. Well, I got that. Hmm. Okay, so maybe do that from time to time. Oh no, I might have messed up. There might have been an order to this. That had a name, it said diamond. They might all be diamonds, but it might also be something else, you know? Let's check the tree. Little twig on it, okay. Oh, another diamond. Okay. And a little worm. Okay. Oh, this can be dragged for him. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, we're going to quickly... Just like that. Might as well, right? If I already screwed up the order, then... In for, uh, in for a penny, in for a pound, right? Isn't that a, that's a phrase? I don't know. I'm American. We don't have pounds. Um... Okay, and then maybe put the worm. Oh, there you go. Thank you there, Mr. Vanderwood. Hey, there you go. Neato. All right, so maybe there wasn't an issue. Maybe that was what I was supposed to do. All right. Okay, we can now get into the estate. Click on the tree to make it grow. So two for 33. I'm curious if there are like little hidden things that we're gonna miss here and there, because the last game had some hidden stuff, right? What's this? Oh, that's back to the tree, okay. Well, let's go inside, summer of 1860. The uncle, oh, geez. Okay. A little stumpy over here. What's with this? Oh. Okay, yeah, there's some handprints. I'm sure we'll look around and learn some things about this. Weird jar. <clears throat> the Vanderboom Brothers. I'm trying to drag that. Just click it. Okay, oh. Whoa. What does that say? PTL Core? K-O-R? I don't know what that says up there, but there's a key. Huh. I'm just trying to pay attention to this. It's like, okay. We're going to do our notes, y'all. Could be important. Could be important. So we need to put a heart in the jar. I'm just going to write heart. I'm going to put a little jar around it. And then I'm going to just write um, foot. Um, we're going to write, what is that, a feather? Or is that a lock of hair? We'll write hair. Foot. Hair, eye, teeth, uh, blood, maybe? Just going to put a question mark at that one. Uh, eye, uh, blood again, brain, and what's that last thing? I'm just going to write cork. I am not. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. I'm sure that as we collect these things, which I'm assuming is going to happen, we're going to have that. The other thing is what's up in this corner. I'm going to try and draw this for myself. Big old line across the top. Looks like, um, what lettering is like that? Is it Arabic is like that or Hebrew? No, uh, no, 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 no. It's like uh, Hindu is like that, I think. Or maybe Thai. I'm not sure. I really don't know a lot about language. Okay. 
not my forte. But I know I've seen stuff like this before. Okay, and then it goes across like that, and then it's got a slash, and it's got a down, okay? And then that leads to this symbol, which is kind of like, okay, this comes above the line, goes down, almost like a reverse K. Okay, and then reverse H. So we'll go, all right, I've got that drawn out for myself, and I guess I'll write PTL con next to that or something. I don't know. And, you know, me doing this, I probably don't have to um, because I'm sure that, like, I'll be able to access this kind of information, but I like writing it down. It's very, um, I don't know, for me, it, it works. Okay, let's uh, open that. No? And drag it? No? Okay, so that key doesn't go there. How about here? We don't know what time to set this to. Okay, let's back up real quick. Aha, here's my Vanderman. Aha, okay. Are these a thing? No, okay, so we're gonna do something with this. But uh, there's where the key's gonna go. Ooh, an ax, aha, to chop the um, log. What you thinking? He wants a fire. Okay, so it's interesting. So when we, when we click on him, <clears throat> it does tell us our sort of current goal, right? So let's get to chopping. Got our little wood. Let's go ahead and come over here. Put that in the fireplace. Now, how am I going to light that sucker, huh? Got anything to light it with? No? Okay. So now here's my question. A, is there anything in these? Aha, matches. Nothing else. Okay. Aha, another key. Now he's nice and cozy and asleep. Hold on. Is he saying anything else now? Want to put a click on his head? What's he dreaming about? His long lost love. Aw, that's sweet. These games are so delightfully macabre. Like, it's not spooky or horror-y Oh, okay. Upper right. Okay. We're in position three, position eight, Position, was that 12, 13, and position 18? So position 3, 8, 13, 18. Oh, well, there's some, uh, some parity there. Parity? Okay. 3, 8, 13, 18. Got it. Aha! It always is set to 8.25. So that's what we're going to set the clock to. That's going to open the clock, I'm guessing. 8.25. Let's get the 5 there. 8 there. Yep. Oh! What the? Oh, no. Excuse me? Excuse me? What? What? Gross, dude. We just like went through his body, through his mouth. What the heck are we? So we saw this in the uh, in the painting. What the heck? Okay, what is this? Collect all ten sacrifices. Okay, got it. Man, oh man! All right, so now we're gonna come back to the tree here and there. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Summer of 1865, finding love. James and Mary. And this is to go back to the tree. Right, 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 right. All right, so we have to find all 10 sacrifices. So what are you each thinking of? You're thinking of love, question mark? And you're thinking of love, question mark? Okay, what's on your note? Anything? Nothing. So maybe he wants to write a note. I'm going to take this hanky. Does she have anything for me? Not yet, I don't think. Okay. Scroll around. See what our options are. No, hold on. Don't scroll back like that. 
Well, obviously there's a key under the crow. Got a feather. I'll take it. So I gotta do something with the crow. Okay, gotta drag that. Can't do this. Key is with the crow. What can I do with this guy? Well, I'm thinking I'm gonna use a feather and something to make ink, and that is going to give him um, the ability to write a note for her, is what I'm somewhat thinking. Um, but perhaps a rose first. Aha, see? Can't do anything yet. Okay, but he's got the he's got the feather. So that's one one part. There we go. She smells the rose, and what does she think? Anything? <gasps> oh, jeez. Give me this back. Oh no, uh, hanky, hanky. There we go, hanky with blood. Yeah, I had a feeling. Will you marry me in blood? How delightfully macabre. Um, here you go. Hmm. hmm. Oh, a worm. That's cute. Sort of, in a really weird, creepy way. Here you go. Eat that, yes. Thank you, Mr. Crow. Why does it do these weird little photos all the time? You know, you know what I mean? Like the screen, when when a certain event happens, it always makes this interesting filter over it. There's a ring. Can I take the hand? That's not one of the sacrifices, so I guess it's not a big deal. Okay. Love. And? Is that... Is that it? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mary. Aha. And yes, another growth. Let's, um... We'll kind of bounce back and forth between these different little chapters here. 1870. The Staircase. Ooh. That's never a good thing. James has a mustache now. Welcome to the club, buddy. Hey, we recognize these. I wonder. Oh no, what's the order? And then look at these. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I forget. I'm trying to think of what the order I killed them in was. Boar was last. Um and then it was like Miss Pheasant, right? Crow. Did was there a crow? Wait a minute. Who's missing? I feel like there's one missing. Or was there a crow and I'm just not remembering it? I remember her. I remember him. Uh, I feel like rabbit was like right around here. It was something like this maybe? No, no, no. Moose should have been, or the, the deer should have been first for me. Crow. Not sure. We'll, um, we'll play around with this. There might be something here that'll tell me the order. Uh, let's mess with these books real quick. I haven't even looked around this room to see what matters. Um, what connects to what? Well, you clearly connect to that. Nope, to that. What connects to you? Is it this? No, nope, come on. Yep, okay. How about that? Okay. How about that? Okay. That's the end right here, right? That's a terminus. Duh. All right, let's put this. Ugh. It's a little bit tricky because you want to put it in between. Right? That's how you can get it in between. You have to put it like right in the middle. Okay, so we know we got this. We got this. 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 Okay, that's one. Hmm. What is the order for these? I feel like that crow doesn't make sense to me. Um. We'll figure this out, though. Oh, interesting. Similarly, trying to figure out what's the terminus here. Okay, so, like, there's clearly, like, there's certain books that go next to each other, right? 
So maybe it will make itself aware as I do this, right? Like, where does this red one go? Like, maybe that goes here? No. Brown. Brown must go on the edge, right? Because there's no other brown anywhere, right? Then what about you? I'm going to have to find some info for this one, I think. Oh, 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 hold on. You can totally go in there. So then... Hmm. The only thing I'm, I'm having an issue with here is... Like, red feels like it must go on the edge here. This must go next to this, but this can't go next to this, right? I need, like, a brown edge against this, I'm assuming. So where would this red go? Because, like, if I put this red here, what do you do with this guy? Unless this is at the very beginning. Maybe that's how it goes. You. 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 I'm just playing around with stuff right now. You know? I think that um, some of this stuff I can just kind of guess my way through. Okay, and then green goes there. Uh, and then you, and you, and you. There we go. So that's two. So then up here, I swear it's supposed to be you first. And then who was the other one I did? I did like Miss Pigeon. Pigeon was also kind of towards the beginning. The crow, I have no idea who the crow. I do not remember the crow. I'm just trying to think. Like he was the... Maybe it's the order you meet them. He was the guy who worked there, I just realized. It would be something like this, I think, would be the proper order. I feel like the boar was last. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should have done rabbit first? I have no idea. I have no idea. I'll, uh, I'll give it some time, and I'll try and figure it out. What do we have going on here? Oh, symbols. Okay. Okay. Can I actually make dots with these? That's a circle with a dot. Okay, maybe. So let's... um. Okay. So basically lower left is this, this, upper right's that, and then everything else are circles with dots. Is that correct? No, apparently not. Or is this just telling me, oh, it might, it might, that might be like there's more information I have to gather. Or I need to get this correctly first. Ah, okay, there we go. So then moon and pyramids in those positions. Moon... Pyramid, pyramid, okay. What are you thinking about? Don't know what that is. A cave, maybe? Something like that? What's going on? Okay, ah, he's got the other one. So it's circle, circle. Oh, and then there's the another alchemist symbol. Spring 1859, my brother and I are in the final stage of finding the elixir. Okay, circle, circle, and then in the middle is... Crescent. Um, and I'm going to draw this down again. I don't know if this will be super relevant to me. Three into roughly an R shape that turns into a half H uh, with a three at the bottom of it. And then another, a line that goes all the way across. And another basically an R. Okay. I have no idea. <laughs> Okay, well, let's go finish this part. So it was um, moon. There we go. So I got binoculars. I'm assuming, aha, the hotel. Can I see anything in the hotel? Is there a way to 
Wait, what's going on with these windows? Ah, the order that they're standing. So it's bunny, pigeon, boar, crow, deer, and uh, what's her face? Uh, pheasant. Bunny, pigeon, boar, crow, deer, pheasant. Bunny, pigeon, boar, come on, uh, crow, deer, pheasant. Got it. Perfect. Ah, it's a secret door. Okay. My goodness. I was a little bit concerned it was going to be some kind of like, I don't know, secret thing. Like I was going to have to remember from the first game. No, oh, down the spiral we go. That interesting effect. Okay. 